am joined by the lovely Jemima Rupert, who also stars in the film. Hello, Jemima. Hello. Hi. Good, good evening. Good afternoon. <laughs> I'm getting a little wet here, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, I know. Just make sure. We're like standing in. They're going to you're in the gap. Come into mine. Come, Come into way. mine. Come this way, people. <laughs> now, Jemima, what was it about this film that made you want to do it? Um, I, to be honest, it's just that they gave me the job, and it's usually how I choose most things. It chooses me. Um, it, uh, I think the script, I, I kind of got a call saying, you've been offered this part, and I kind of looked at it thinking, oh, it's going to be a couple of scenes, and they're going to be pretty boring and whatever. And I read it, and there's a few, there's only a few scenes, but they were brilliant, and it's so unusual, especially with smaller characters. Um, and there's this one particular scene that was just absolutely divine and brilliant. I mean, divine's maybe the wrong word to describe it, as you'll see. Um, but, uh, yeah, and, like, you know, to work with Dan, to work with Dan, and, uh, and the director, Michael Dowse, and there's, there's loads of people in the movie that I hadn't met, which I'd love to meet them. I don't think they're here. Um, like Adam Driver, but I got to meet uh, Zoe Kazan, who I'm completely girl crush over. She's amazing, as is Mer Megan Park. I've got to ask, have you ever been in the friend zone? Yes. And what would you Multiple do? Multiple times. <laughs> well, I can't believe that. What would you... <laughs> sorry, sorry, <it's> sorry. <laughs> what would you do? If, where would you take somebody, or where would you want to be taken in London to kind of sway it if, if you were putting somebody in the friend zone? Uh, oh, the Namco Centre on South Bank. But it is maybe a bit too much of a grey area in terms of friends. I've been there with many friends, many ex-boyfriends, actually, who are now friends. Um, but there's, like, dodgems, and you can go bowling, you can have a beer. So you can kind of... There'd be opportunities for touching, if that's what you wanted. Um, but you could also kind of keep it, you know... Platonic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if that was your intention. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and what's coming up next week? Because obviously you're in Atlantis, and you're doing the yes. TV and film. I just finished... I just, poor thing. Um, I just finished filming on Atlantis last week and I'm now in rehearsals for uh, a new comedy play called Breeders for the St. James Theatre, uh, which is uh, hopefully going to be brilliant. We're having far too good a time. Now, Daniel told me a minute ago that he went to Comic-Con dressed as Spider-Man. What yes. would you go to Comic-Con dressed as? Some kind of Viking. Or, I don't know, I'd like a kind of fake animal skin. So I don't know if that's a specific, like Conan the Barbarian. I'd actually probably like to cross-dress and definitely probably be a man. Um, any of the ones with, like, sort of full head... Oh, Guardians of the Galaxy. That's my new obsession, having seen the movie last week. Maybe I'd go... I'd go as Rocket the raccoon. Jemima, it's been an absolute <laughs> pleasure. Stay dry. You I am too, not. yeah. It's been difficult. Yeah, you just got to surrender. You me. Thank you. <laughs>